Guys, before this video starts, I want to tell you about this sick website that sells hella cheap NBA jerseys. The website is ringchasers.com. I copped myself a few jerseys on there a while back, and I honestly don't know how their prices are this cheap. If you guys want to get a sick deal on a jersey, make sure you check them out. Link will be in the description, and use code LKG at checkout for an extra 10% off. What's going on guys, it's LKG, and today I'm back with another video. So today's video, we're going to be talking about the time Dennis Rodman disrespected Larry Bird and had to pay the price for it. But before we get in the video, make sure you guys smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel to catch all the new content. We are releasing daily videos, so you definitely don't want to miss out. But with that being said, let's get into the video. To start the video off, we need to go back to 1987 when a 25-year-old Dennis Rodman was drafted by the Detroit Pistons with the 27th overall pick in the second round. Since Dennis Rodman never played for a good college, not too many NBA teams knew about him and his scouting report was described as a player who was a great athlete and had a lot of heart but was lacking skill. So when the Pistons decided to pick Rodman, he was at first intimidated by the star power that the Detroit Pistons had running from Isaiah Thomas and Joe Dumar. Now the Rodman of the late 80s had a totally different personality than the Rodman we'd come to find out during his Bulls days. During the 80s, Rodman was a lot less crazy, playing a lot of video games and staying inside instead of going out to the clubs. One thing, however, that Rodman did spend most of his time was on working on his game. He knew that he would never outskill anybody, but that he could beat them with his heart and his hustle. Rodman's entire plan was just to outwork everybody he came up against. But at the beginning of his rookie season, it had not really panned out with him not getting a lot of minutes, and the NBA game was obviously a lot tougher and quicker than it had been in his college playing days. But I didn't let that discourage me, you know, because I know I'm a rookie and everything. Every little thing I do is going to be a mistake, so I just got to go out there and play. In the second half of the season, I've been doing real well. After only getting about 5-10 to 10 minutes in the first half of his rookie season, Dennis's hard work finally paid off and he made the 8-man rotation and was now receiving over 20 minutes a game. Rodman was looked at as a defensive specialist, with coach Chuck Daly letting him guard the best player on the court. Because of Rodman's quick feet and his relentless attitude, it made him the perfect player to guard some of the elite players in the NBA. And of course, one of these elite players happened to be Larry Bird. Rodman always waited for the matchups against Bird and was super motivated and he wanted to prove that he was able to stop the best guys in the league and this was one of his matchups which he looked forward to the most. Although he had a lot of success with some of the best players in the league, in his rookie season, Rodman had a ton of problems guarding Larry Bird. Bird against Rodman, spins around the rookie. Dennis Rodman just went to Larry Bird University for a term there. First period. Now, although Rodman did have one nice steal and a poster dunk on Bird, it was clearly Larry who got the better of the matchups, where in the three games they played, Larry had 23 and 9. 31 and 8 in 27 points, shooting insanely efficient from the field. In the 80s, the Celtics Lakers rivalry was at its peak. But towards the end of the 80s, the Bad Boy Pistons were on the rise. But in order to make it to the finals, the Pistons had to get past the Celtics. And in the 87 season, the Celtics and the Pistons would meet in the conference finals. Although the series went 7 games, Larry Bird was obviously the most dominant player in that series, averaging 27 points, 10 rebounds, and 7 assists. Robin was assigned the task of trying to contain Larry Bird, but had a really difficult time with it. After the Pistons lost in the seventh game, Rodman had some controversial comments about Larry Bird, and Isaiah Thomas got involved as well. If Larry was a black guy, he was he just would be a regular old, regular old basketball player. Larry, that's a very, very good basketball player. I think he's an exceptional talent, but I'd have to agree with Rodman. If he was black, he'd be just another good guy. <laughs> Although when asked Larry Bird said he didn't care, 
you knew it definitely motivated him. One of Bird's biggest commercials back in the day was a commercial about Rodman. I kind of laughed when Robin asked me to do an escort commercial. You see, I'm six foot nine. An escort's about four foot six. When Robin gave me this escort with these special options, at this price, well, I had some faith to save. So I called this number and told Robin straight out, I'd rather drive this escort than sell it to somebody else. Sorry. The Pistons were the best defensive team in the NBA, and they were ready to support Robin and do whatever it takes to stop Larry Bird. But no matter how hard they tried, they just couldn't do it. Now we all know Dennis Rodman's career would turn out to be a Hall of Famer and he was one of the best defenders who ever played in the NBA. But we can also say that for sure, one of his hardest matchups was Larry Bird. And at the end of his career, Rodman had nothing but respect towards him. I should have said it then, but, but I, I said it, but you know, he, he was a great player. I mean, he, was, he was fantastic. Of course, uh, you know, he was at the right place with, you know, doing the magic. He had a great, great balance and stuff like that. But, but it took me and it took me years to get to know Larry Bird's, you know, his moves and how he tries to suck, suck up at you and do certain things. He used to give me every, I mean, my rookie year, he used to call me out, boy. So that's it for the video guys, if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel to catch all the new content, we are releasing daily videos so you definitely don't want to miss out. And with that being said guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.